In this video, I'm sharing with you my top three tips for traveling with my dog. I'm gonna walk you through how I help my dog be comfortable in his carrier bag, how I manage situations that are out of my control, like flight delays, and how I help my dog stay calm through all of this. Earlier this year, Newsweek reached out to me to do an interview about how I travel with my dog, Sami. It's a pretty big deal to be featured in Newsweek, so I was more than happy to answer their questions. I shared some of my best travel tips, so then I thought I'd better make a video about this. If you've been following our channel for a while, you know that Sami is my first dog. He's a Westie Terrier, he's four and a half years old, and he's the best dog I could have asked for. Before I got him, I already knew that I wanted to be able to take my dog with me everywhere on my travels. This is why I chose a small breed, so he'd be able to fly with me in the cabin. Sami boarded his first flight when he was 7 months old, and he behaved so well there was no doubt he'd make a great traveler. We had two flights with a 4 hour layover in between, and he slept like a baby through the whole thing. For the past four years, Sami has been with us on road trips through Europe, we took him everywhere in Portugal, Spain, France, and we even went sailing in the Mediterranean in the Greek islands for three whole months last year. On our most recent travel, we flew to the USA where we spent a month in New York. So when I did the interview for Newsweek and they asked me, what are your top three tips for traveling with your dog? Here's what I answered. Tip number one, invest some time in training your dog. Training helps reduce your dog's anxiety in situations that are new for them. Like for example, being in a crowded airport with people rushing by. Some dogs might get anxiety in this scenario, but a trained dog will look to you for guidance and they're gonna feel safe because they're with you. Training also helps your dog be comfortable to sit in their pet carrier or in the back seat of the car for longer amounts of time. For this, I recommend crate training your dog. If you're not familiar with crate training, it's when you teach your dog to be comfortable inside a crate to the point where it becomes their safe space. It's never too early or too late to start crate training, and it will dramatically improve how they feel when you travel with them, either by car or by plane. Let me know if you want me to make a video to talk more about crate training. Tip number two. If you fly with your dog, prepare for unexpected situations, like delays, cancelled flights, or other things that are out of your control. For this reason, here's what I do. I always pack extra dog food and treats, this way I don't run out even if we have to spend an extra day in the airport. I make sure I pack at least one training pad in case the flight is delayed and we're stuck on a plane and my dog needs to pee. It's also a good idea to pack your dog's favorite toy to help soothe their anxiety during those long hours of waiting. Don't get me wrong, most of the time everything is fine and we have no issues flying with Sami. But I make sure I'm prepared for the times when things don't go as planned. Like recently when our flight was cancelled after we were already boarded on the plane. Or this one time when Sami was almost not allowed on the plane because someone thought he was too big to fit in his carrier. Spoiler alert, it was mostly because of his fluffy overdue haircut. I'm gonna put the links to both videos in the description below so you can go watch them next. If by now I made you think that traveling with a dog is stressful, let me tell you this, it doesn't have to be. Just make sure you're well prepared and have everything you need with you and then you can just... And that brings us to tip number three, relax and enjoy the trip. You've got this. And remember, dogs can tell how we feel. So if you're calm and relaxed, chances are your dog will be too. If you learned something just now, please let me know in comments and click that thumbs up button so that more people get to see this video. You can also subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram to learn more tips on how to travel with your dog. Thanks so much for watching and go watch this video next!